Good day, brothers and sisters, children of the light, as the Apostle Paul calls us, in 1 Thessalonians 5. I want to talk to you about something that I must say in a way I find amusing, because I th often think back, when I was a child, now I grew up in the, in the, in the um, new Protestant church in Pretoria. Their name, name is now changed. And I remember I always found it fascinating, or, but a bit humorous. When the elderly people used to say brother and sister, and they used to put emphasis on the brother and the sister, and we, I often used to giggle about it because I found it funny. And there was a time in my youth where I actually even thought it was a lot of nonsense, this brother and sister business. But the older I get and the deeper I grow into faith, the more I realized how blessed it is that two complete strangers can greet each other and because of the bond made in heaven, listen to my words, the bond made in heaven because we're both children of the living God makes us in the eyes of God brothers. Sure, that's actually so blessed. It is such a privilege to call a fellow believer. Now I believe, I realize that brother or sister. I want to encourage you, love your brothers and sisters in Christ. And I'm sorry, I'm not one of those ministers that say you must love everyone. It's not what the Bible teaches us. And I know there's a lot of people listening to this video that's not going to like what I say. But I've mentioned it in other videos as well. The Bible tells us to firstly and most dedicatedly love our brothers and sisters in Christ. Surround yourself with believers, honest, true, dedicated believers with all their iniquities. We all have iniquity. I have iniquity. You, listening to this video, have iniquity. But let us bind together and love each other because of our bond in Christ. Your first purpose in life, my brother and my sister, is to love your fellow believers before you love the world and people of the world. Your first priority is to help brothers and sisters before you spend your energy of people of the world. Your first priority is to give to brothers and sisters before you give to people of the world. And how can you do that if you don't surround yourself with brothers and sisters in Christ? Such a privilege that we have become part of the divine heavenly family in Jesus Christ. Let's tre treasure those bonds that are registered in heaven. Please go to my website, www.glitterforchrist.co.za. Go to YouTube, type in Henry Lottering, many, video, many videos, videos, falling over my words, many videos to watch. And it's my honest benediction that the one true living God will richly bless you.